Hello, friends! So, Bible study part three. Uh, this is the last of the videos. This one is a much shorter. It is uh, verses 32 through uh, 37. It takes us through uh, the book of Acts, uh, chapter 4, entirely. This one is called The Believers Share Their Possessions. So, they've already gotten the permission uh, from the Father. By, and, you know, they know that because the Holy Spirit came upon them and the whole building shook when they asked for permission to proclaim Jesus publicly, despite the fact that the Pharisees don't like it. So it's like, protect us, please, so we can preach your word, which is very much what Jesus wanted. So permission granted. And that is really what we're supposed to do. Before we make major changes in life, we are supposed to stop pause and ask heaven if this is the intended path and then if you watch and you wait something in nature will show you a yes or a no or you'll be directed towards looking something up or watching something on tv or in a song that miraculously is on the same subject matter of what you just asked one of my favorite ones because i really love music is to uh, pull up spotify and just you know choose one song not from my playlist, just type it in there into the search bar. And, okay, so he likes this being told. Um, <laughs> because it would be, there was beeping over there. That's one of this, like that, that's a synchronicity. And I, I put it on to play, that one song, because it like popped into my head that I want to listen to. That's usually him. And then um, things that I might have had questions on start coming back to me in the rest of those songs where I'm not picking anything, where Spotify is picking the playlist. Because remember, he can use any energy that's in the room to communicate with you because he's trying to communicate with you. So it's a manner he's going to communicate through what energy you put in your world. You put the energy in your world by the choices that you make, the people you're around, the stuff you buy, the things you do. He has to use the energy that you put there. He can't bring in energy that you didn't put in the room unless he sends someone. For me, he likes to send animals. But birds, lots of birds, doves specifically. Lots and lots of doves. <laughs> I can say that for sure. Oh, and the hummingbird. Uh, this parable here is called the Believer's share their possessions there's actually more than one hummingbird there's three hummingbirds uh all of the believers were one in heart and mind no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own but they shared everything they had with great power the apostles continued to testify to the resurrection of the lord jesus and much grace was upon them all there were no needy persons among them. From the time to time, those who owned lands or houses sold them and brought the money from the sales and put it at the apostles' feet, and they were distributed to anyone in need. Joseph, a Levite from Cyprus, like I, which I got to tell you, I find very fascinating. A Levite from, because I've got ancestors from Cyprus. I'm, I am also a daughter of Aaron, so I am a Levite. So I'm like, I need to go look to see if there's a Joseph. Uh, Joseph, a Levite from Cyprus, whom the apostle called Barnabas, which means the sons of encouragement. I like that. That's very positive. Sold a field he owned and brought the money and put it at the apostle's feet. Okay. So... That concludes that part. All right, so remember that, oh yeah, this is a great, okay. So remember, when you're dealing with anybody in the world today, including yourself, if you really mean what you say or anybody really means what they say, they will literally put their money where their mouth is. Watch where you invest your time and watch where other people invest their time versus how other people say they follow or what you say you follow because we should always examine ourselves. Um, and watch where you put your energy because where you put your energy, where you put your attention, that's what is really actually important to you because that's the things that you feel driven to put your time to. So watch where you put your time today. Because it might be important as the day unfolds. And to me, it's always important. But in this case, it might be the difference today between success 
and failure.